All right, guys, I just got a call from the driver. This is not the driver, this is my dog. Just got a call from the driver who is delivering the N54 donor car for the 135. It's about to show up at the house, and you guys are not gonna believe the story behind this thing, so hopefully she shows up. so cold this thing came from Florida it ain't used to this weather let's get her in the garage oh maybe it doesn't have comfort access not used to that there we go okay yeah 60 degrees this thing's used to that southern weather no heated seats that's all right let's get this to warm up Let's pull her into the garage and then we'll give her a, a good inspection. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with. Obviously it's a pre-LCI E90. You can tell that by the, the headlights, the grills, the taillights. And the reason I got this car, remember, is so I can get my dang 135 back on the road. We blew the engine up in the 135 after making 800 wheel horsepower. And now that engine is sitting on a lonely stand over here which would be perfect to rebuild, but I wanna get her back on the road ASAP, so I've been looking for an N54 until I found this. But let's take a peek inside. We've got the sport interior with gray seats. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's the sport interior because it's got the pull-out seat cushions there, um, paddle shifters up here, so it is automatic. I mean, obviously she ain't mint. She could use a little elbow grease, a little TLC, but I think this should work, as long as the motor's good, which I haven't compression tested or anything like that, but as long as the motor is good, I'll be happy with this. So I think it's time that I share with you guys the backstory on how I found this, how this came about, and how much I paid for this dang thing. But before I do that, let's take a peek under the hood, because this little girl, she's got some goodies. Wait a minute, do you want to win a thousand bucks? or a dock race intake manifold, I just launched a giveaway on beamerstreet.com so you guys can either win this N54 manifold with port injection for your car to make big power or just look cool, or you can just choose a thousand bucks. All you gotta do is head over to beamerstreet.com, buy a hat, a hoodie, a t-shirt, a mystery pack, anything from the site and it gets you entered. What are you waiting for? This is my first time looking under the hood but I'm trying to remember what I all saw and what I know it's got. So it looks like we've got some arm inlets, some arm turbo inlets. Down there, it's kind of tough to see. I'll get my flash out. We've got some MMP outlets. So we've got inlets and outlets, and then you can't see it, but this thing's actually got an upgraded set of turbos. So we've got 19T hybrid turbos down there. I'll see if I can get a shot of those at some point. And uh, let's see what kind of injectors we've got, because you guys know the prices on these. Index 12 injectors, baby. So you guys know that injectors go for crazy price. So I'm glad this thing's got the fresh Index 12 injectors. VTT oil vent cap, and oh my God. And she's got a limited edition crazy oil filter housing gasket leak. Now this milk. is really common on these cars, but I will say this one's pretty bad. I don't usually see them this bad. It actually looks like it's leaking from both gaskets here 
in here. Down here we've got a charge pipe. I can't see what brand it may be, but we've got a tile blow off valve on here. And a oil catch can back there. I think I see a ECS vacuum adapter down there. So we've got the larger vacuum line. And it should have an intercooler, yep. She's got an intercooler on her. I don't know the brand or how big it is. But like I said, she's got some solid parts under the hood that are either worth some good money for me to part out or uh, that I can transfer over in one way or another. But again, I wanna see how this thing scoots. It's uh, not 100% mechanically okay. She's got kind of a bad transmission, which we're gonna see how bad it is because I'm gonna take it for a spin. But first, I'm gonna give you guys the story on this thing. So a few weeks ago, remember, I posted a video about getting screwed over on a 335. Well, after I uploaded that video, a ton of you guys reached out, you shared the video, you commented, and I had a bunch of support from you guys. And a follower of mine reached out saying, hey man, I've got a 335 with an N54, full bolt-ons, upgraded turbos, I will sell you for cheap. It just has a bad transmission and it needs some work. It's been sitting for a while because I haven't had the time to throw a transmission in it. If you want it, it's yours. I was like, heck yeah, man, let's figure this out. FaceTimed him, he showed me the car. Obviously, she's rough around the edges, okay? I mean, it probably needs attention in just about every department. But at the end of the day, I scored this thing for 3,500 bucks. Shout out to Michael down in Florida. I appreciate you hooking me up on this. And if you guys remember, a good N54 motor, I mean, they're going at the low end for a high mileage N54, 1,500 bucks. Average price, I'd say around 2,000, maybe a little bit more for just an engine. So I figured if I could spend a little extra cash, get a whole car, with an N54, that way I know the engine's working because I should be able to drive the car, test the engine, etc. Then I could use the rest of the car to either part out and make my money back, or in this case, I think it's, it's close enough, it needs work everywhere, but it's close enough that if I take the engine from this thing, put it in the 135, I think it'd be sick to LS swap a 335. I've been watching some other guys do it lately, and I have other friends who love the LS, and I think it'd just be great content. You know, I don't have a job anymore, so I gotta be making content, and to be fair, that 135 is already pretty well modded. I have two N54 cars already, so if you're worried about N54 content going away, do not worry. We have plenty of content to make with N54 cars yet. I just think it'd be another cool bit to have on the channel to have an LS-powered BMW. So, that would be the goal that's assuming I don't find anything else weird with the car. That's assuming the motor is good. That's assuming a lot of things, but I did want to show you guys as soon as I got this car what we're working with. And now I think it's time to take her off on her maiden voyage. And it may be a little bit interesting because he said he hadn't really been driving this thing in a hot minute. So let's take it out and hopefully the transmission doesn't leave us stranded. So I'm about to take this thing for a drive as you guys are about to watch on this camera. and. I was trying to bring my, my drink with me, but as you guys know, these damn cup holders, neither of them, neither of them work. All right, oh well, guess this thing's staying here. All right, we've got like every dash light on in the books, but if I weren't able to see that, so far this thing's driving pretty good. Now I am on a dirt back road here. Well, it's actually full of snow right now. It's not dirt. And this thing's got tires that are showing cords. Well, blinkers work. Believe it or not, they must be broke on most BMWs, I don't know. It is in sixth gear right now, so that means it at least goes in sixth gear. I just wonder if it handles any type of power or not in sixth gear. But I'm not willing to try that until we're on our way home from filling up the tires. But I don't know if you guys can tell, the camera might be shaking a little bit. There's definitely a shimmy, but I think it's just, I, at least I hope. We'll find out in a minute. I'm just about to pull up to the gas station and I'll fill up these tires and see if it's any better. Well, it's 
trying to open the sunroof to get some more lighting in here. And, uh, it's broke. Something's broke. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with that any more than I have to. <laughs> but the more time I'm spending in here, the more time I'm seeing this thing's going to need some TLC before I even LS swap it. I'm thinking I should probably get it in good running and driving order before I take the engine out of it. That way I kind of know what all needs work and what doesn't. That way I can drop an LS in it and know it's a good, you know, run and driving chassis. But we made it to the gas station. So I'm gonna put some air in these tires and by then it should probably be warmed up and I'm gonna get on her a little bit. Okay, so while I'm waiting to get some air, that's the Christmas tree we're dealing with. And I realize, I'm like, I'm freezing, man. I'm trying to turn up this heat. Nothing. No, no air coming from anywhere. So, this thing's gonna be a treat, that's for sure. And my little battery light for the camera just turned on. So I'm gonna turn this off and hope I have enough battery to at least get the ride back home. All right, <laughs> I'm officially freezing after filling up those tires, but we did get rid of one of the lights, which was the TPMS light. So TPMS all work, all the tires were low. We still got like six other lights on though. So. This thing has had a chance now to warm up for just a minute. It's just a tick above uh, 160 degree oil temps. I think I'm gonna give her a little juice on the way home. Oof. This thing still rides like a lumber wagon. Making all sorts of noise up front. Maybe need some bushings or something. And it's fogging up in here because the heat doesn't work. Oh man, what did I get myself into? Guys, hope this motor is good. Oh boy. She's still shaking, shaking bake. I'm guessing one of these wheels isn't balanced right. Cause they all have enough air. Man, it's like rush hour right now. Sun's going down. All right, so I had to whip out the phone because the camera died. She is up to temp. Let's see if you guys can see that. I mean, she's over temp still got christmas tree lights on that low tire light came back on that back right tire is like on cords i'm surprised it hasn't just blown out at this point so i'm gonna try to use these paddle shifters see if i can get on her a little bit third gear second gear Jesus Christ! Oh shit, there's some deer here. I don't know if you guys can see these. Jesus Christ, many deer, holy moly, lots of deer. Jesus, three just ran across, there's more over there. You never know what you're gonna get into in Wisconsin, I tell ya. Good thing uh, nothing bad happened there. I should probably put the phone down. At the end of the day, it's 20 degrees out. This thing's on tires that are showing cords. It's probably making like 500 wheel horsepower, maybe maybe 400, 500. I don't know what it's even tuned on. I don't know what it's tuned at. I don't know if it's got ethanol in it. I have no idea what's going on with this thing. But I did put the pedal down and it immediately broke the tires loose. So that tells me she's got plenty of juice. Um, no limp mode or anything weird. I mean, I'm going down into third gear. I'm just gonna ease into the throttle and man, I mean, it's got, it has power all day long, but I'm wondering if one of the center support bearings is bad or something or the guibo is bad because you give it any sort of gas and oh God, she's riding rough now. I think I, I gotta I gotta get this thing up on the lift. I gotta inspect stuff. But it does run and drive at the end of the day. I think I'm gonna pull her into the garage and you guys are gonna see the next video with whatever I find going out with this thing. All right, that's gonna wrap up this video. We've got a lot of content coming. Now that we got the car, we're gonna get rocking on all sorts of stuff. So be sure to subscribe. 
Give me that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.